do you want to tell us a little bit about those resources that you feel that you'll be bringing to the spacious retreat? Yeah, yeah thank you. Yeah, so I, my, my background is um, from Qigong, really, from Chinese medicine. And um, that whole Zen Taoist tradition um, of spaciousness that comes within mm. the whole. So the, the idea of the circle that contains the whole, the 10,000 things, um, the balance of yin and yang, the sky and the earth. And so what I will be offering will be some Qigong practices um, that will really take us into that space. And what does that mean for us? Um, so I have different forms that I would like to share, but actually the form is, it's just a doorway. So the form really helps us to get in touch with our life force, with our prana, with our chi, with this animation that is being human. It gets us in touch with that. And, and once we've got in touch with that, we can let go of the form. Mm. And we can really allow, we start to follow the energy that wants to arise, as opposed to being always in charge and always leading and always being in control. I think it's a lot about control. Um, and I, my, my practice is really based in, in earth medicine, in the elements. So really working with the elements of the earth, the sky, and then the four directions and uh, the fire, the water, the air, and the wood element, the element of growth and creativity. And so I'll bring all of those aspects in, in different ways. We'll just follow and see what, what, how they want to come in. Um, and I think where we meet is with the breath work. And of course, breath is such a vital part of Qigong, um, vital part of, well, it is our energy force. And that's that meeting place for us. Um, and I think we met and it, at the Breathwork Retreat and we just felt that our, although our experiences were very from different roots, mm. the meeting point was really about how to hold sacred space and how to allow that sacredness to be there. Um, and deep, deep listening as mm. to what wants to unfold in any moment. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful to, to hear you because, um, uh, as you've said, um, even though I'm coming from a different tradition, really the language is, mm. is the same. Um, I think there is this very universal uh, wisdom yeah. which is coming through um, from these ancient traditions. And I think that both of us do have this enormous... Um, uh, respect and understanding mm. um, because neither of us have um, are newcomers on the path mm. so there is this uh, um, there is this this recognition this mutual recognition of of the essence of the teachings so although I come uh, more from um, an ancient yogic path um, let's say mm. it's uh, very much rooted in the ancient wisdom of Tantra and this is the non-dual Tantra so it's this also recognition of, of, uh, of the universal quality of, of consciousness and so yeah I also work a lot with the, the elements and um, this real really um, tuning in to those basic elements that are within us as being part of those elements which are in everything mm. that surround yeah. us. So we do have this, um, this false perception of being separate, mm. from being separate from, from others, from being separate from the mm. world, and, and we, can, we can see that and that creates a lot of suffering. Mm. So I think that all of the traditional techniques, and some of them are more with the body, some of them are more with the mind or the breath, but essentially there is a wealth of um, quite often very simple techniques which are accessible to everyone, um, which are pathways designed to allow us to, to merge um, with the source. Mm. And, um, and yes, the breath is an essential element of that because this is what is bringing coherence between our uh, distracted mind and our body, which is just waiting for this, um, this connection to be reestablished. 
And I really do feel this. It is a lot easier than our mind mm. Um, mm. makes it out to be. And when we are um, really present within the, the space that we are offering, and it is a sacred space where we can invite you to uh, drop into this quality of presence, then there can be a, a remembering, there can be a recognition, um, and the nature is waiting for us to recognize her and to um, recognize her within ourselves. And, and this is when we come into bliss. Mm. And um, bliss is not something that you're lucky enough to get. It's something which is actually our natural state. So I think that um, regardless of which, which of those techniques which are, we draw out of our bag of knowledge, um, I think that there is a common principle, and that is regardless if we are using our bodies, our breath, our mind, our voice, uh, our senses, whether we're walking in the mountain or mm. we're lying with our eyes closed or we're eating the food that's prepared with love, there will be countless number of opportunities yeah. to just drop into that recognition of the perfection of life mm. as it is. And this is, um, this is the opportunity and this is the, the gift that we would like to share with you. Yeah. And I think like we all have this wisdom in our body, whatever we've studied, whether it's been pottery or yoga or life drawing or singing, dancing, all of those creative expressions that we, we have access to will really take us into that. So inviting you all with your own personal unique skills and beauty is, is really exciting to me, <laughs> you know, to really create that cauldron of see you know, what wants to come from all of us and all of our wisdoms mm. and all of our traditions and let go of the idea that we we have to achieve something. It's just allowing that natural bliss to come to mm. arrive to, mm. to hold us. And a lot of it is dropping this idea of the teacher. Yeah. You know, we are um, uh, suggesting this yeah. and we are the, the sacred mm. space holders but that doesn't mean that the ones who are coming are not also that. Yeah. And, um, and that the, the teacher really is that um, wise voice which is emerging from within any one of the bodies present. Yeah. And um, this, is, this is something which is so beautiful to, to appreciate. Um, so that in one moment, you know, this tree could be my master. Mm. It can really teach me everything that I need to know when I come to this, when I approach it from that space of spaciousness yeah. and of willingness to listen. Yeah. Um, and the same is with the other people who we invite into this space. Yeah. Um, so I'm really enjoying also to recognize the teachings within everyone who chooses to come yeah yeah, yeah and I think I think it's it's making that space to allow the conversation the conversation between beings between the grass between the elements to to really be a conversation mm. and where we are deeply listening and allowing mm. and for that we also need to cultivate silence yeah and so, slow down. Yeah, so it's, it's this, we, we can't be listening when we are, um, we're, we're full. Yeah. We, yeah, we need to make, create that space in order to listen. Mm. And, um, and this is about dropping into silence and letting go um, in order to actually just refine the consciousness and refine yeah. this capacity of, of perceiving. Yeah. Yeah. And that idea of emptying ourselves so yeah. that we can be full yeah so that we're full of everything and not just one idea that's kind of stuck or repetitive pattern yeah. that we're in a rut yeah. that we've created in our lives yeah and i think that's something you know today we've had so much so many online courses and mm. online retreats and things but 
you know, it's that really valuing that we need to actually sometimes move away from our everyday life yeah. and everyday relationships in order to actually uh, open up to, to something which can be new, mm. to leave behind that which is somehow kind of uh, creating a veil yeah. uh, in that, that, that clear perception. And, um, and I think it's enormously valuable. Um, and it's not about going anywhere either. It's about really uh, dropping into that space where we mm. know where we're going to be held. It's a safe space. And um, this is uh, a piece of land where we have been living for 16 years now. Um, and so I feel that the spirits of the plants in this land are also here to be uh, receiving and nurturing mm. uh, this work. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I really feel it being here. I feel the love that's been put into this land by you and your family and, and what comes back, you know, that what comes back from the land and the trees and that, that, that you, you are part of it here. Every footstep is embedded mm. and gives back. And I think that's a beautiful place and that's, yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful invitation that you open up for others. Mm. And which is why I was so yeah. happy to have you here <laughs> yeah. these days, because it's um, those mm. places where we have um, stopped and listened to together yeah. in the mountain. Mm. I have already received that intention yeah. and that, and there were, it's also a space that will open to yeah. receive the group when they come. I really, I really believe that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Great. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, good. A little bit of nervous laughter at the end. <laughs>